Today I want to talk about this Tudor model and why this is the most underrated model in their catalog right now. This watch is the Tudor Royal 38mm case size with the blue dial. Tudor released the Royal line in 2020 and for the first time it was meant for the Asian market only and it was sold only there. But later on Tudor Royal models became available worldwide as well. The most famous model in the line is the Daydate 41mm blue dial version. This is the model that gets more attention or I can say most attention from the press and the watch community. When I started my Tudor exploration, I remember looking at the Royal models and thinking it is a very nice model line, but I bet they're pricey. I was pretty sure they cost more than a Black Bay line. With the surprise, I've discovered that Royal stainless steel models are relatively affordable among Tudor watches and compared to other brands. The Tudor Royal Day Date model price tag was about 2,600 Canadian dollars. Today, with the price increase, it cost 2,770 Canadian dollars, which is still not that expensive considering the brand and the specifications. So I went to a Tudor boutique to see and try the watch in a metal. I had a chance to try the 41mm Daydate Blue model. The watch was great. Despite the 41mm case, the watch was pretty comfortable on my wrist and didn't feel too big, thanks to the case and the bracelet design. Everything was great. I loved the Daydate complication and the model. But there were two problems with the model for me. First, uh, 41mm case size still felt a little bit on the bigger side, uh, but the main problem for me was the dial design. It seemed a little bit off. I mean the date position on the dial. When you look at the date position, it seemed disbalanced to the dial itself and other dial elements. Like I have no problem with the day, even if it cuts off some of the numbers. I know some people don't like it, but for me it's fine. But the date position seemed off balance. Just imagine to move it a little bit slightly to the right and it would be perfect. I know the Tudor probably was limited by the silhouette movement, but still it was bugging me. Again, it's me, I'm sure for more people it won't be an issue. With some sadness I was looking through a Tudor Royal collection, I found out that they have a 38mm version with only date complication, but perfectly balanced to my eyes. So I went on a hunt for this model. For some reason it was quite hard to find it in stores. It took me several months to hunt one. The 41mm uh, model could be spotted, but not 38. I ended up ordering this watch online from one of the Canadian IDs. So I got it, the Tudor Royal 38mm blue dial version. And it was perfect, still is. The reference number is M28500005. So why do I like this watch so much? First of all, the design. This is a watch with the integrated bracelet and I have a thing for those. I, if I'm not mistaken, it's currently the only model with the integrated bracelet from both Tudor and Rolex. I am a big fan of Rolex Oyster Quartz. I used to have one and I regret selling it many years ago. So this Tudor Royal being a perfect mix between Royal Dejust and Royal Oyster Quartz checks for me two boxes at the same time. By the way, I used to own a vintage day just as well. The design is great. The 38mm version with a very slim profile feels and wears amazingly on a wrist. The bracelet is comfortable similarly to a Jubilee bracelet from Rolex. 100 meters of water resistance, screw down crown makes this a true versatile watch. You can dress them up or down with no problem at all. The hands are with loom, so nights are covered for you. The locks are fully drilled through. I don't really see a purpose for that except to give a watch a more vintage look. The Tudor Royal comes in 4 case sizes, 41, 38, 34 and 32 mm case sizes. Many dial and materials options are to choose from. There are stainless steel, two-tone and some models are featuring diamonds on a dial or on a bezel. Or both. 316L stainless steel holds against scratches pretty well at least what I see over time on my Royal. The T6001 silica base movement works pretty well in my case. The accuracy is great. I have this watch in my collection for about a year already and I wear them very often. These are one of my favorite watches in my whole collection and I'm pretty sure that I'll be wearing them for many years to come. So considering the brand, considering the specifications, considering the quality, 
the five years warranty, the beautiful design and dimensions. But I think this Tudor Royal 38mm is a very underrated watch from the brand and it comes with a great value proposition on the market right now. And although I love this watch very much, I think that additional complication would complement them incredibly. I mean a 38mm Tudor Royal option with a day and date, something I would be thrilled to see as well as many others I imagine. Thank you guys for watching, I hope this video was helpful for you, if you liked the video give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye now and take care.